what I'll do now is uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, quickly navigate the uh, single touch payroll wizard in order to get yourself uh, ready and set up for reporting to single touch payroll for the upcoming financial year. So we've got, uh, we've made it nice and easy for you. We've got a wizard that you can go through uh, to set up your single touch payroll. So from the payroll dashboard here, uh, you can see this option up the top here, enable single touch payroll. So uh, if you click on this little option here, this is going to launch uh, the STP registration wizard. So the first screen you've got here uh, is just telling us a little bit about single touch payroll. So it's basically the ATO's uh, initiative to streamline uh, reporting. Uh, and again, any of those businesses with 20 or more employees will have already started uh, reporting to the ATO. But as of 1 July this year, uh, any of those businesses with 19 or less employees, you will also need to start reporting to the ATO as well. Uh, so we'll just click on proceed to take us to uh, the first step. <clears throat> now the first step here is confirming these business details. Now each step in the wizard uh, also has a back or a cancel button. So from this first, from this first screen, if uh, you'd like to cancel the wizard, you can cancel it and go back out. Uh, and we've also got a save for later option. So if you get halfway through it and you've run out of time or you need to check some information, uh, you can click on the save for later option and come back at a later date and then just pick up from where you left off. To take us to uh, the second part of the wizard, which is the lodgement authority. So the ATO needs to know who's actually lodging uh, these submissions to the ATO on behalf of the business. So there are three options here. So as the employer, so if you're lodging your own reports, you can uh, select that option. Uh, if you have a registered tax or BAS agent reporting to the ATO on your behalf, uh, you can select that option there. Or an intermediary for employing entities. But for today, uh, I'm just going to select that we're going to be lodging as the employer. Then we can click on Next. And this last option here is enabling the ATO integration. Uh, making sure that if you haven't already got electronic lodgement uh, enabled, that you come in here, that you do <coughs> contact the ATO. So you can do it via, uh, you can do it online via your uh, access manager, or you can phone the ATO and register the software over the phone with them. So depending on which method you uh, you choose, you'll just need to tick one of those options just to let us know which one you actually did register via. So once you have uh, registered your software with the ATO and uh, you've selected one of those options, you'll then just need to uh, acknowledge the authorization and declaration down the bottom here by ticking that little checkbox. And then that's pretty much it. You can then just click on complete. And you can see here now that that has enabled you for single touch payroll. So it's quite a, I would say easy, <laughs> quite an easy uh, wizard to follow. Uh, there, it, it does become uh, a little bit more complex if you do select that uh, tax or BAS agent or intermediary uh, option. But other than that, yeah, that's just check all the information that you've got on each of those pages and go through each step. Uh, and that has now enabled your payroll file for electronic lodgement. Uh, and you can go ahead and start creating reports for single touch payroll.